Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, this one is going to be kind of different from my other ones. We're not doing a story time, we're not doing some random other thing like playing with Esther or some random skit. I don't even really know what I'm doing on this channel these days, but I just wanted to talk about something uh, that I have been thinking about a lot and that has been kind of bugging me a lot recently. And I just, I just want to be honest, I just want to be open. Um, I've been looking at this channel and I've been seeing a really sharp decline in views recently. And a lot of me wants to be hurt by this. And, you know, it's like I see the views go down and I wonder, am I still relevant? Am I just, am I failing? What, what am I doing wrong here? Honestly, at first when, when they kept going down, I would just get upset and it would kind of lead to self-deprecation. Um, I wouldn't say self-hatred, but feeling just like I wasn't relevant anymore and feeling bad about that. But I've kind of actually had an epiphany today. Um, I was trying to avoid looking at views for a long time because I felt like looking at the views was just making me angry and making me upset. Um, uh, today I looked, I saw, you know, they were down again, of course, and I actually didn't get as upset as I did last time. And I have to say that I've had good counsel. You know, I talked to Esther about it and I've started to ask myself, why be bothered by low views? Why is that even a problem? Um, as Esther put really well, um, the amount of views that a video gets does not dictate the quality of that video because the rest of the people haven't even seen it. They don't know how good the video is. So it really doesn't dictate the quality. And in all honesty, I would rather have like 2000 like dedicated viewers than 200,000 people who just don't care and are just clicking videos in the recommended and and it doesn't really mean anything to them. And I've thought about how my channel was when it blew up. And honestly, um, I never experienced a channel of this size. I've experienced having like, you know, 50 subscribers and, you know, getting like six views every video and just doing it because I love it. And honestly, um, when my channel started to get bigger in mid 2018, I kind of missed those days because it felt like my passion project had just sort of been turned into like this big like money game, like trying to get my numbers up, trying to get more money, trying to make a career out of it. When that's never really what I wanted to do. That's never why I started it. That's never why I made helper videos. I just made videos that I was passionate about. I, I, yeah, I kind of wanted to get more views, but that wasn't really the purpose behind it. It was just because I loved it. And honestly, that love, for what I was doing is kind of what got lost when the channel started getting a lot of views. I really lost myself in those numbers. I remember I would spend like hours just staring at the YouTube analytics and watching the views go up as it refreshed every 10 seconds. And honestly, it was really satisfying, but that type of satisfaction, I have to say is really temporary and not by any means substantial because the minute the views start to go down, it's like my self-esteem would go down. And it's hard to think of a worse place to be emotionally than like my entire self-image, self-worth being tied to the ebb and flow of a bunch of numbers, which are being dictated by some random computer that doesn't know me, doesn't know anything about me. It's just... It's just crunching a bunch of numbers and has decided that it likes my content. And now looking back on it, I can say I wasted a lot of mental and emotional energy just like wishing to get those views back and wishing to become relevant again or whatever. Looking back on it now, like I don't understand why I suddenly cared what some random computer thought about my videos when I'd been doing just fine, just chugging along, making the videos that I loved for for years before that. And I didn't care. It's like just getting that many views is what made me care. And 
sometimes like I wish that that had never happened because I, because without getting a taste of like that temporary quick satisfaction that getting a bunch of views was giving me, like I never would have experienced that. I never would have wanted more of that. Um, looking back on a lot of my videos, I seem to have a knack for comparing a lot of situations to drugs, uh, namely hacking or being a helper or helping people on Discord or this time YouTube. And I've said this about so many things, but YouTube analytics are addicting. And if I'm not careful, it will steal all of the enjoyment for making videos and literally leave me with nothing but like a quick satisfaction from just seeing the numbers go up once. And honestly, the thing about numbers is that when they go up, it's never enough. There's an infinite amount of numbers and literally like with the patterns that I've seen, like I know that even if I was like the most viewed YouTuber in the entire world, that wouldn't be enough because you can always do better. It can always be higher. There's no satisfaction in that. There really isn't. And really, like, I've been blessed with what I have. I am very blessed to have the viewer base that I have. I'm very, in fact, honored and flattered that people are watching this and are, you know, actually just sitting through 10 minutes of me talking about numbers on the internet. I think that's really flattering. And, and, I just have to say that looking back on it, I'm just grateful for what I have now. I went into YouTube just because I loved it. I didn't really expect to get anything from it. And I've already achieved more than my wildest dreams. And anything more than that is just an additional blessing. So I just wanted to thank all of you for sticking around. Thank you for not just watching me because of the blue name or because I used to have a blue name your comments make me feel really appreciated and just welcomed and like I am doing something that matters. Now in the past, um, I've seen my views go down and that's made me want to quit. And I really don't want to do that this time. Um, this is literally my most heavy semester of all college. It's my last semester. And I honestly don't have time to be doing this right now, but something about making these videos like I just can't stop doing it because I love it and that's what I've done my whole life. And like when I started it, I was never making videos because I wanted to get famous. I was never doing it because I wanted to be like some big celebrity relevant person because I never really thought of myself that way. I never really wanted that. It's just that when I got it, that's what I wanted more of. And I have to admit that I lost sight of what really mattered. and. I don't know if it was noticeable, but I just wanted to apologize for that and um, just say thank you once again. Um, normally I take like two hours editing these commentaries. Um, I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes now. Um, I don't think that I'll have to cut very much out of this because I've actually been able to just keep talking for this whole time. and. Um, I guess that just is a testament to how relaxing it is to just be open and honest rather than trying to say things that will pander to a huge crowd of people. Honestly, right now, I'm glad that I don't have as many views as I used to. It's a lot less stressful. I don't feel like I have to impress a bunch of people. I can just go back to doing what I love. And the videos that I love are still getting a decent amount of views. It's still interesting for some people. So um, I've been rambling for a while. Um, if you watch this far, um, thank you very much. Um, I obviously am doing something right. So thank you all so much for watching and don't forget, follow your dreams.